What's up guys? I've got a quick video for you today on how to use two of the most popular tile leveling systems on the market right now. We're going to show you how to install them. We're going to show you how to remove them. One's a wedge system, two's a spin system. So what we're going to do is pretty simple. Mock up a wall, install some glass large format panels, uh, show you how to install them, show you how to remove them, and uh, just talk about the benefits of a tile leveling system. So let's mock this wall up really quick. Let's talk about the two systems we're going to use. Here we go. Okay, here are the two systems we're going to use. We got LevTech. This is a wedge system. Now this is nearly identical to RLS Remondi. Um, we just like the clips a little better on these ones, but um, let me show you what's in here. You got your clips, your spacers. Here's your spacer clip. Here's your wedge. You install like that, and we'll show you how that's done after we mock up this wall. The second system is rigid, a spindle system. You have a base here, 1 16th inch base, and you have a spindle cap, which will tighten the two tiles down. So we'll install with this system, we'll also install with that system, and what we're going to install are 12 by 16 inch glass panels so you can kind of see how these systems work with installation as well as removal. All right guys, let's mock up this wall and get to installation. All right, guys, the wall is all mocked up, ready to go. As you can see here, got a ledger board here to hold up the panels. We're gonna install eight glass panels. Four of them with LevTech wedge system and four of them with Rigid's spindle system. Here we go. Now, normally it's always recommended to use a half inch by half inch trowel when installing large format tile. We don't have one today. We're using a quarter inch by three eighths. It's gonna have to do for demonstration purposes. Here we go. Now we'll start with the wedge system, LevTech here. Pretty simple. Slide the clip behind the tile. and continue to install. Now normally you would back butter tiles. I'm just demonstrating how to install using this tile leveling system. And it's nice to show how these clips work with the clear glass. Make sure the tiles are nice and tight. Install the wedge. Now you don't need pliers necessarily you can tighten the wedges with your hands, but if you're installing uh, quite a bit, if you're installing a uh, tile for a shower and you're using a ton of wedges and clips, uh, your hands and fingers will get sore. So it's always recommended to buy a pair of pliers. They're pretty universal. They work with uh, Raimondi RLS. They work with LevTech. Use the pliers to tighten the wedges. Nice and flush. Again, clear out some excess mortar. Insert your wedges and continue to install. Now, sometimes you have to hold the edges of the tiles. When you insert the wedge, sometimes it'll separate the tiles from each other. So hold one end as you insert the wedge and as you tighten down with the pliers. Like this.
All right, so there is the wedge system install. As you can see inside, how these clip spacers pull both tiles together so that they're level and flat. Now, of course, I would have been able to get better coverage if I back buttered these tiles. I did not do that, just so that we can see how the systems work behind the glass. But as you can see, it gives it a much cleaner, flatter, and superior install using a tile leveling system like this for large format. Okay, now we'll install Ridge's spin cap tile leveling system. Here we go. Again, clean the excess mortar from the edge of the tile before installing your clips and spacers. Here are Ridge's Level Max spacer clips. You install them the same way. Slip them behind the tile. Here's your spindle. Tighten it down to level the tiles out. There you guys have it, how to install tile, large format with two different types of the most popular tile leveling systems for walls, for applications like showers. We're gonna let this cure up and dry. We'll show you how to remove them. And as you can see here, everything is super flat, no lippage whatsoever. It simply helps give you a more superior installation with large format tile. They're inexpensive and they work well. Okay, the thin set mortar has set up and cured. Let's show you how to remove the caps and wedges. Use a rubber mallet, just like this. Now, to remove the wedge system, you want to hit along with the grout line horizontally. You don't want to bang down vertically. Remove just like this. Now for the rigid system, the spin cap system, you do the same. You want to hit along with the grout lines horizontally, not vertically, just like this. Now, as you can see here, the base remains below the tile. The clips break beneath this grout line here, giving you enough room to install grout. Same with the rigid system. As you can see, the clips here remain underneath the tile, giving you enough room to install grout. Now for the spindle system, it's easy. Once you knock all of these off, you remove the broken clip here. This is trash. The spindle, you keep this for future projects. Wedges, you keep the wedges for future projects and you simply throw away the broken clip as well. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.